In this video, we are going to have a look at how to add, subtract and multiply using columns. Even though you're allowed to use your calculator more and more, this is still a valuable skill to have. Example, determine the following. In number one, you need to add two big numbers. In primary school, you were taught that columns helps for this. There will be a column for the hundreds, one for the tens and one for the units. So we'll have 456 and below that the 39 will be in the columns for the tens and the ones. And we can indicate that we are adding. Now we're going to start with our units and that means we're going to work from right to left. Adding the units 6 plus 9 will give us 15. But we can't yet write the tens because we have more tens to add up. And that is why this one will be added at the top of the tens column. Now we can add all the tens together. So we have 1 plus 5 is 6 and 6 plus 3 is 9. For the hundreds we just have 4 or 4 plus 0 so our final answer is 495. In number 2, we need to subtract. But again, we're going to make use of our columns for hundreds, tens and units. At the units, we have 1 minus 5, which means we don't have enough to subtract 5 from. And that is why we'll borrow from the tens. This 4 or 40 will now become 30 because we are taking 10 and putting it with the units. And now we have 11 minus 5, which is 6. For our 10s, we now have 3 minus 3, which is 0. And at the 100s, we have 8 minus 2, so that is 6. So our answer will be 606. In question 3, we are now multiplying two values. And again, I'm going to start off writing them underneath each other. But because our second number consists of two digits, we are going to do two multiplication calculations. We're going to start off multiplying with the 6. And just like with adding and subtracting, we start with our units. Here, it is very important to now know your multiplication tables by heart. 4 times 6 is 24, but again we cannot write the 2 for the 20s yet because we still need to do the multiplication for the 10s and then add this to that. That is why this 2 is put at the top of the 10s. Now we multiply the 10s, which is 2 by 6, and get 12, and to the 12 we still need to add that top 2, which will give us 14. We only write down the 4, because the 1 we put at the top of the 100s, which should be added to whatever the answer is of the 100s times 6. 3 times 6 is 18, plus that 1 is 19, which we can write down completely because there are no thousands that need to be multiplied. Now we're done multiplying with the 6 and we still need to multiply by the 4 or in reality 40. This 40 means you need to remember that the value is actually 10 times bigger than only multiplying by 4 and that is why we start off with a 0 to make sure our answer is 10 times bigger. And now we can start with our units. 4 times 4 is 16, but we can only write down the 6 because the 1 still needs to be added to the answer of the 10s. Now we can add the 10s. 2 times 4 is 8, plus the 1 gives me 9. And finally we multiply the 3 by 4 to get 12. Now we have addition. And again, using our columns, we can add this together. So here we have 4 plus 0 is 4. And next, 4 plus 6 is 10. 
of which we only write the zero because the one is added to the hundreds. Now we have nine plus nine is 18, plus that one is 19, and again we only write the nine and add the one to the thousands. And here we have one plus two is three, plus the extra one is four, and finally we only have a one. So our final answer is 14,904. In the next video, we'll have a look at long division.